Jaren, what a goon. Ignition sequence start. Three, two, one. Houston, we have a problem. We got to on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. What you're seeing here is a mirage. Mirage. What's going on, everyone? Sound Lee here with another video for you. I've been working for a little while, but now I'm back. But let's get back to some videos. First up, Jaren shows us all about perspective, all stemming from a recent video by Jesse Kozlowski. Jesse is a geodetic surveyor. His website and YouTube channel are both located in the description, so you can check him out. He's a really good guy. His flat earth smashing measurements show and contribute to the overwhelming body of measurements showing the earth is nearly a sphere. He easily demonstrates the curve over short distances, and he shows us how geodesy smashes flat earth. So let's listen in as Jaren displays his ignorance and basic geometry while making a complete fool of himself criticizing a professional geodesist. Just for the fun of it. Yeah, well, I guess I'm a survey geek. I, I like this stuff, so I want to go and try this out for myself. And then uh, do the same thing here, measure latitude using the sun and Polaris, and uh, see how close I come to what they did. You know, we've got it made today. We just we use GPS for everything. <laughs> Let's hear that one more time. We've got it made today. We just we use GPS for everything. <laughs> yep, really funny. Let's just trust GPS, everyone. I mean, pay no attention to the fact that it's owned by the U.S. government, operated by the U.S. Air Force. I mean, the U.S. government, we can trust them, right? Unless you may have heard of the Gulf of Tonkin, I don't know, the use of napalm and Agent Orange, the dis- What the f*** does any of that have to do with whether or not GPS actually works? GPS could have come from Sauron himself, and it wouldn't prevent it from working. GPS is used to drive tractors, to grade land, to automatically land airplanes, and guide missiles. Not to mention a million other things. GPS works. It doesn't matter who created it. It works. I've, you know, in my past, before using GPS, before GPS came along, I observed for azimuth quite a bit with my theodolite uh, of the sun and Polaris. But, uh, and I've, I tried observing for latitude a couple times just for fun, but uh, I'm really into it now, so I'm going to do it. I'm not doing anything different in this test than you would do for any type of survey work involving three-dimensional measurements of, uh, of points, the, the relationship between two points. I'll cut right to the chase. Uh, the sketch that was very small previously is, is now you know, something you can possibly take a look at. And it's a simple test. Uh, I set two points level with each other using the water surface as the level. And so that the height of the instrument is the same height above the water as the target that I'm uh, pointing on. And the purpose of this sketch is to get across this relationship that the horizontal plane is perpendicular to the direction of the vertical plumb line. Okay, and so I took pictures with my telescope set horizontally and you can see that the target is below that line. Of course, this is very exaggerated. Take a look at one of those pictures. It's, yeah, it looks like this. Okay, and uh, and I've got it, you know, coming, looking at it from the other direction as well. Same thing. Now, what does that tell you? Uh, it tells you that if the Earth were flat, then the vertical plumb line would be parallel everywhere. There, there would be no, there. This inclination would not exist. It would be parallel, and the sum of the zenith angles would be 90, no matter what. What Jesse is showing here is that when you look into the distance, items reduce in size. That's it. Of course, the sum of the zenith angles will always be greater than 180 in all directions. And this is because items do not get larger with distance, they get smaller. Holy crap, we're talking about parallel lines here. He doesn't even understand what parallel lines are. Notice this horizontal line. That's the viewer's line of sight. 
you'll also notice this green arc. That's the size of the object that the viewer is looking at in his field of vision. As an object gets closer to an observer, that green arc gets larger. It's a larger angle because it looks bigger. As it moves further away, the object appears to get smaller, and you'll notice that the angle gets smaller. That angle tells you the size that the object's going to appear to be at that distance. Basic geometry. But you'll also notice that the horizontal line of sight still meets the object exactly at the same level. It's exactly the same height above the ground. So what Jaren is describing here is not perspective, which is intuitive to anyone above a fourth grade level, but instead, flirspective. And it's at this point that we can just stop watching the rest of the video, as the rest of it is completely based on this faulty premise. Instead, flip over to my perspective video if you want more detail on how flat earthers routinely get this wrong. Thanks for watching, guys.